내가 어떻게 얘기를 해도 사실 사람들은 자기가 생각한 대로 나를 판단했었기 때문에 거기에 대한 억울함이나 거기에 대한 내가 내 진짜 모습을 보여주고 싶다라는 옛날에는 그런 욕심이 있었어요 근데 아 그게 결국 불가능하겠구나라는 판단을 하고 그럼 차라리 그러지 말고 왜 그러는지 그 사람들을 이해하자 라는 생각을 하고 살려고 했는데 좀 이번에 하면서 내가 좀더 솔직해도 사람들이 이해해 줄수 있겠구나라는 아니 나는 그냥 방송 맨 처음에 할 때도 그렇게 얘기했잖아요 그냥 사람들은 내가 내가 어떤 사람인지 안 궁금해한다고 생각을 했어요 제 진짜 모습을 알고 싶어 하는 사람 많이 없거든요 This is this has been such a long time, <laughs> and it's kind of really nerve wracking to get back on camera, especially for the kind of video I'm going to film today. Um, I I was kind of putting it off, but um, I told myself that you know this is something that I need to do, and this is probably my way of getting some closure, or at least I don't know. I haven't scripted any of this, so. It might be kind of a mess, but uh, I really wanted to get on camera and talk about something really important. And from the title, you already know what I'm going to talk about. So let me just get right into it. So yeah, um, on Monday, uh, we all learned that uh, Jung Yun from Shiny um, took his life. So he's now dead. And uh, I learned it like pretty like I don't know if there's a, a soft way to learn it but I felt like it was kind of abrupt because I received a message of a friend who was like are you okay after what happened to Jung Yun dot 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 and I was like what and I was like I was five minutes away from leaving the house to go um, to the place where I do my internship and I was just like okay like i'm kind of in a rush but i checked on google uh quickly to see if there was there were any news and first thing that pops up on wikipedia is like the, a date of death and then i was seeing all those articles saying that uh, jung yun had been found dead and i was just like this is a joke so i threw my phone on the bed and then i told my mom and I was just like I was sh my body was al already shaking from the shock but I was like I don't have time to deal with this so I just I finished like getting ready and got out of the house and slowly it started like to hit me as I was you know taking the public transportation and all that stuff I was kind of like okay this is real but at the same time I was in disbelief so my day was was spent pretty much in a weird mood where I, at sometimes I was hit by the fact that he was dead because I kept checking the articles and then it was really confirmed that um, he had taken his life. So I was like, okay, this is real, but at the same time I was like, this is impossible. And now it's been like, what, five days, five, six days since we got the news and I'm still in like this um, ambivalent position where I'm like, this is impossible. But at the same time, I'm like, I know that this is real and I've been kind of feeling it like in waves, but I'm like, no, I'm just waiting for him to pop out from his, like from wherever he's hiding right now, because no, he's not in a coffin. I'm waiting for just for him to just be like, hey guys, this is all a really, really bad joke and I wouldn't even be mad, mad at him because I would just be like you're alive you're fine and I like my denial is is getting so much um it's so strong that I I was like I told my friends like and my sister oh well you know uh shiny are really good actors and you know all those k-pop stars 
they're pretty well-rounded artists so you know they could have acted all of that uh, during the funeral and Jungin is just like you know he probably changed identities and now he's in Montreal and <laughs> He, he, he's like he has a new name uh kim jake i don't know something like that and he's just trying to you know keep a low profile but he's alive so you know i've built all those stories in my mind about what might have happened to him um instead of like accepting that he's not part of this world anymore that he's somewhere else wherever he may be but it's it's just it's it's just hard to really grasp because you know like it's for if i need to go way back the thing is like like jung yun and shiny have been there for me since 2010 and why the process why the process of grief or the process of believing that reality the reality of his, de of his death is so hard it's because It, it, they've kind of been like friends to me in the sense that they've picked me up when I was at my lowest point and I've always said that they have saved my life and I mean this in a very literal way like apart from my mom which is you know the biggest part I guess but the the other half or the other like 30% is like them who played a huge role in my recovery and In, in making sure that I didn't take my life. So, you know, Shiny gave me my life when I was thinking about suicide, when I was thinking about, you know, that I was failure, that there was nothing that I could do um, to make my life any better. I first saw, um, and it was totally random, but I, I was on YouTube and I, you know, and I discovered this video clip And, you know, I was listening to this song called Ring Ding Dong, and it was like, ring a ding 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 And I was just like, this is so ridiculous. At first I was like, this, no, this is not good, like... I don't know, I remember laughing and I was like, this is, what is this? But the song kept like playing in my mind and I was like, this, yo, this is catchy. So I went back, listened to it again. And then I had a friend who um, was more into shiny at that time than I was. So she introduced me to um, other musics with music, music of them, which at the time wasn't that much because they had debuted in 2008. But that song was from 2009 and they hadn't had a comeback yet so then i had my first like shiny experience at that moment and they just stuck with me ever since and it was just like watching them for the first time i don't know there was something so like magical i want to say about it it, it was something that i had never seen before it was uh, a visual uh, a type of music that was different that was unique And for me, Shiny has always, like, I always say K-pop saved my life too because it wasn't just Shiny at first. But what made Shiny, like, my favorite group since, like, almost since the beginning was that I felt like there was something more to them. Like, even though, yeah, even though the songs weren't genius or anything, it, 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 there was just something, like, really unique. And um, I remember... I, like at some point like my mom was telling me why is shiny like your favorite k-pop group there's there are other other many talented k-pop groups and it's just like well they do they, they like yes that there are other artists that have a lot of talent but there's something about shiny there like the chemistry between them and the fact that every comeback Uh, they bring a new sound, a new image, like it's music that you hear but at the same time they put their own twist to it and they like make it their own and I always felt like Shiny keep, kept progressing um, like with the years and they just like became better like you know letting it's like like they just became even more like fine wine or something like that as if, as compared to other groups that sometimes it kind of get gets repetitive and you know it's just like ah yeah that was good but it wasn't anything like like they didn't bring anything different to the table i feel like shiny was the kind of group who always bring brought something 
like different to the table and just made k-pop you know the unique thing that it was way back when there weren't that many groups yet so yeah like they just like i don't know their music also and it just helped me get through so much and i'm talking in the music it's so good too not just like when you watch the 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 title songs the music videos yeah you might be like what's so extraordinary but the albums are always all so well put together and there's like a musicality to it that is very like like it's it's well thought out basically and Jung Yoon like had the chance to really like put his talents of songwriter to to use with shiny and for his solo career but like it, it just elevated Chinese music even more and him as an artist he was like so brilliant he has such an ear for music and his music to also help me get through so much and I think that like seeing how many people were there at the funeral but also how many people he impacted during his short life like you can see that you know everyone knew how much of a brilliant artist he was he was he was incredible and I remember at first I didn't really like him because like SM was SM which is the company he comes from was trying to give him an image of a bad boy and something that was really like off-putting and plus they kept like putting him in front for the vocals like he was the lead vocal and so my bias which is own you was like I felt like he was kind of left um, put aside because of Jung Yoon so I always felt like some resentment towards him but with the years like he really like his personality came through when he just let go of that fake image that they were trying to like like st stick to him and he just like showed how much of a sensitive soul and how much of a caring and open-minded person he was like to me like that sentence he's that sentence he said when he was talking about lgbt rights like that different doesn't mean wrong That sentence impacted me so much and I think it, it touched so many people too, so many fans and so many artists too, I feel because, you know, it takes a lot of courage, especially in that kind of society which is very like homogeneous in many ways and traditional to come out and say stuff like that and he got a lot of heat for like defending um, such a... Um, a stigmatized group of people and he's I felt like like that was like so courageous of him to like maybe like not and not say that he didn't care about the hate but that he acted despite the hate and because of that reason he became one of my favorite people ever like because of his artistry but also because of how open he was and how like how just of a deep soul I felt like he was like yes I can't say that I knew him yeah but I think we got to see many parts of him that were very personal and I wish that he knew how much he had an impact on other people and the thing that is really sad to me in this in all of this is that yeah Jung Yun died of depression you can say but depression is not something that is only in the in individual manifestation like there are other things at play in this and you know there's a system where like with the years he was probably like overworking himself and like the standards in Korea but not also in Korea but in many countries where you know you can never reach like you like you have to reach perfection but so you're never satisfied with what you're doing so like this feeling of failure he might have felt over the years and being tired being stressed being always in the public eye all that stuff as I had to play in like his feeling that he had no other solution that he could apply in that moment than taking his life. No matter how many people admired him, if he didn't have like he didn't feel that support, that that wouldn't that wasn't going to change anything. And it's just so sad to think that someone with so much talent 
um, won't be able to be part of us anymore and that the light that his soul was won't be part of this world anymore and I think that it, that is what is so sad like to me when I was so depressed like what kept me going was to think that these five boys these five men um, if they could exist in this world well that meant that the world was good that there were good people that you know there was hope and now one of those lights has you know ex has been extinguished and it can feel like there's something missing but as i said i'm still like kind of in denial so it hasn't really hit me and um i know it's going to be a long process and i can't even imagine like what is going to happen like to the people who were close to him like i really hope they take care of themselves and that they use this as a i don't know as as an experience to do like not even better but just to 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 take better care of, care of themselves and take like see their life in a new light and that is what like this his death is going to do um in my life like i want to use this as like as an even more solid ground to my life's mission and and like i mean it's, my thoughts are all jumbled up in my mind that and right now so i'm sorry if i'm not clear but what i mean to say is that i feel like his death is just like solidifying the fact that i want to help people and i want to talk about mental health and that is what i wanted to do with this channel and that is what i'm doing in my everyday life in my work in my internship is that i want to help people i want them to value their life no matter what they're doing and i want them to see how beautiful and how wonderful they are and i think that you know even though john couldn't um, see that for himself i want to carry like his like his legacy and all his open-mindedness and the fact that he was so caring i want to carry that for him in my life and just be a better person for other people who are struggling so i feel like this was so like messy but i think in the end what i really want to say is that if you feel like there's no other issue know that there's always a way like that is not suicide and i think that one major thing that comes into play is the feeling that you cannot get help and that the people around you sometimes they can't like really see how in pain you are but talk about it try to find at least one person you can talk to it about it uh, or someone you look up to and try to seek help and I know sometimes it doesn't work, like you have a bad experience with one person, so you don't want to do it again, but keep trying. I know that there are good souls out there who will reach out to you, who will help you, and just take care of yourself. And it's not going to be easy, it's going to be really hard, and it's going to take time. I feel like, you know, my recovery um, is, is still in process, but I think it, it took me probably like the seven years approximately to get to the point where i am today where i don't feel suicidal and like i said like one of the reasons for me getting so much better is because of shiny so one thing i want also want to say is that like don't mind other people if they laugh about your passion or about what you like just if something makes you happy just like dive into it like just be with it as much as you can so I don't care if people laugh at me for loving K-pop, for loving Shiny as much as I do because they are they are the people who got me um, to, to where I am today and my family too but like I feel like Shiny was like a really big part of my identity like they brought me so much happiness they helped me like develop writing skills because I wrote fan fiction and they've helped me also like meet so many wonderful people some of my best bestest of friends right now and they've like just like they brought so many, much happiness in my life too so yeah I just want you to be confident and be awkward and just be yourself so I hope this you got something out of this even if you don't know Jung Yoon or whatever I think that it's a good video to watch basically so because my camera keeps cutting 
and like I don't have much um, space anymore on my phone I'm going to stop it right here and if you need help or need to talk to someone don't hesitate to write me a comment or send me an email or write me on Facebook and I'll see you guys in the next video bye